How did you see your first half? <sighs> we some dogs. We some dogs. Not just any dogs. We some pit bulls. Underdogs, and we don't care. We some pit bulls. Good luck. About that John Holland pit bull uh, <laughs> antics. Did you talk about that in the in the dressing room, or where did it come from? Honestly, after the partisan game, I had doping tests, so I missed the whole celebration. I missed everything. I didn't find out what happened or anything about it until I was on the bus, and I'm like, "What is everybody talking about?" So then they showed me the interview, and. I, I I just really just started laughing um, because that's who John is. All right, yeah. So like, actually, I was listening to a a DMX song like a little bit a little while before the game, I think. And there was a uh, you know a little interlude talking about you know dogs and, and pit bulls and all this other stuff. And I guess that was just stuck in my head. And, and you know, I'm an emotional guy, so like when I asked me for the interview, I just It was just still in my head, and that's how I was feeling. And obviously, we were up big, and I felt like we were playing good. And play, I felt like we are dogs. We were playing like you know dogs, and we were we were getting after it. And that's just how I felt, and that's how I still feel. You know, I think we we play hard. You know, like we're we're the type of team that's gonna play hard. We're gonna play together. We're gonna play the right way, and and you know, we're going to be dogs out there. And uh, this is how I felt. That's how I felt about us. You know, I felt like we were dogs. Like, we, we came out there and we, we came out hungry. I, I just really just started laughing um, because that's who John is. John has brought so much charisma, personality, um, excitement and spirit and just energy to the team that um, that interview doesn't surprise me one bit that he did it. The fans... You, you've been here, as you said, in Besiktas, so the Besiktas also obviously have uh, great fans, but um, asking a tough question, um, Bursa fans or Besiktas fans? And <laughs> No, nah, I mean, honestly, I, since, I, since I got here, these Bursa fans have been amazing. So, um, you know, I, I've, I've never really, you know, seen anything like this, the way they, they supported us and supported the team and the way they, you know, they, they waiting for us after the games in the airport, you know, they, they really show a lot, a lot of support for us. And, uh, you know, I'm grateful. I'm thankful, thankful to them. You know, they, they give us a lot, you know, especially at home, I, I, you know, you see the games are full and like everybody's chanting, cheering, and they they supporting us through whatever. So like I gotta say versus fans are, are probably 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 the best in Turkey yeah, I've seen. But one more question. The coach, because Dusan Anapiavic made a great job, I, I believe. What does he make better than maybe maybe the other? Oh that's the, that's a young that's a young legend in the making. I mean he's uh he has a lot he has a lot that uh He does, and like he's a he's a great coach. He's a great coach. He could he can manage players. He can manage people, and I think uh, he's just going to get even better. Obviously, he's only what thirty six. You know, he's young. He's young, and uh, I think you see you see how much he can achieve, and uh, you know he's amazing. Yeah. In all honesty, he just allowed me to believe to be myself. Once Alaric left. Uh, Even kind of beforehand, we had a we had a few different meetings where he would just tell me like, "I know the player you are. I've seen who you are. Um, I believe in who you are." And he challenged me um, to be that guy um, and to show Europe who I am. So I think for me, the best thing he did was trust me and allow me to be um, the player I'm capable of being which in, in Europe sometimes is, um, is not seen, especially at clubs trying to accomplish things. Like usually like with a coach like him who has um, offensive philosophies and has a certain strategy, it usually comes with um, entitlement and ego. He's been completely egoless in this process. Um, and in turn, he turned 
not only me, but just our entire team into being less ego driven players and more of a team, which is why I think um, we've seen the shift in the year that we've seen because everyone kind of dropped their ego and um, was doing what's best for the team. Okay, Bologna, this team with um, a lot of stars and EuroLeague uh, caliber. Your team and you as well played a tremendous game back in Bologna, uh, but didn't get to win. I look at Bologna the same way I've looked at every team coming in. And when I say that, it's not to shorthand Bologna or compare them to other teams. It's just more so the mindset that I have with every team. I respect every team. I respect everybody's players. So for Bologna, I know they're star-studded with a whole bunch of talent. Um, and that's how I see every other team that we've played. I think Shedavita was had a whole bunch of talent. I think Partizan had a whole bunch of talent. I think Andorra had a whole bunch of talent. Maybe if it's even unknown names, in my mind, I still look at everybody as like, they're capable of doing a lot. Um, Don't you talk like between yourselves in, in the dressing room, like, okay, the, these guys, they have Turtle Siege, they have Shengelia, they have Hackett, they have Kyle Williams, and so many other guys, no? <laughs> I mean, for, I don't think it really matters to us who they got, to be honest. Uh, we know we're a good team. Like, all those, all those people, they, they uh, it's, it's good. Great, great names, great players. But, you know, we're, we're a great team, too. So all, all that doesn't really matter. We know Tia Dosage. We know, actually, I was with Bellinelli in the Hornets. So I know what he can do. I know uh, Kyle Weems, what he can do. The list goes on. Jai Tay, there's Shingela and um, Hackett. So it just kind of makes you just a little bit more excited um, to go out and compete. What did you talk in the in the last timeout of that partisan game before the John Holland shot um, sent it to the overtime? Because everybody was expecting you to take the ball and including the partisan guys, but it was John. Yeah. You can see right before the timeout, I kind of looked towards the bench and I called the play. I'm not going to give the call because we still got some games to play. I don't know when this is going to come out, but I go tell coach to kind of run this play because we haven't ran it too much or the time we did run it, we didn't run it all the way through. And that play has multiple options to the play. So it's not just, you can't just single in on one person with that play with, with John, John's one of the best shooters that I've seen. Coach knew that and he was going to come off and be that first option. If nothing was there, You can kind of see in the clip I was coming off next. John, coach said, <laughs> "Come off, come off the screen and shoot it." I, I felt like you know he had confidence in me to take the shot, and my teammates had confidence in me, and it was just one of those things where uh, you know I I believe in myself always, and and I believe in my teammates and everybody, and and I think you know it's just a situation where. I have full confidence in, in myself to to make the shot. You like the big shots, right? Can we can we call you the big shot, John? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I can make these shots. So <laughs> I I have a problem because I feel like I can make every shot I take. Which part did you have more satisfaction? You know, shooting that shot or defending Kevin Panther in the, in the defense back because they had one shot? Oh man, like I really, I really enjoyed uh defending Kevin because he's you know he's from he's from around my neighborhood you know he's from New York he's from the Bronx so that was that was fun but I gotta be honest it was it was really fun hitting the shot and like silencing like 19,000 people that was that was pretty that was pretty cool did you know before coming here that the Bursa Sports actual um let's say symbol was crocodile and alligator maybe I would love to see um you taking the title in Bologna and make it crocodile dance. Do you know what a cro crocodile dance is? No. Nah. No, you don't know. Okay, I will send you a video. It's a very traditional thing in <laughs> sports, sports culture. 